Many public schools in New York City have opted to divert funds intended for arts education to non-arts related areas. As a result, many kids like Josal Diaz do not receive adequate arts education at school. Y yo creo que eso les falta a las escuelas públicas que los que promuevan cosas nuevas para los niños, que no solamente sea académico, sino sea música, arte, algo que les vaya eh, despertando otro uso a los niños, porque a veces se aburren con solo estudiar. Entonces, yo creo que la música y la pintura, lo que es el arte, los desestresa y los relaja para que aprendan más. Education should not be stressful. It should not be sending our, run, making our kids run away. It should not be doing that. And a lot of our kids are dropping out at early and earlier age. They just don't have no motivation. They don't have any spark. It's just too hard. And once they think it's too hard, they just don't go for it. They won't motivate themselves to go for it. So they have to bring something in the schools to bring them back. Mm -hmm. So I, I agree, they, the kids need art. Studies have shown that arts education has a positive influence on children and on their academic success, social development, and future employment. Subjects like art and music, you know, not every student is just numbers built or just a, a, a regurgitating machine. Some of them are able to express in ways that are not quantifiable by a test. The art programs in my school, very heavy art programs in my school, I would not be where I am. And I would not have the opportunity to teach these guys and pass on what I've learned to them. So yeah, arts are important. The arts and uh, you know, are just as important as everything else. I think kids should have art just like they should have music. It's a way to express themselves. It's a way to show creativity. It's a way to bond with other people that they might not have other bond with. According to a 2014 Comptroller's report, more than 42% of the schools that lack either a full-time or part-time certified arts teacher are located in the South Bronx and Central Brooklyn, the city's poorest neighborhoods. As an instructor here, I started seeing more and more of that, where we were teaching, I started teaching more basic art in my class. This is how you draw a figure, this is how you put a figure together. This is all stuff that when I was in high school and college, I was learning from my teachers. And I've seen a little bit less and less of that, you know, as time has gone on. Arts programs usually cost too much for many families to afford. Josalt received a scholarship from the Arts Students League of New York. I saw a lot of professionals there and I got timid because I found this kid that he looked like about my age and I thought we were like maybe on the same level. But then when I saw him painting, he had like this beautiful portrait. And then I was like, wow, and it just felt small. Josalt dreams big. Like half of my life dedicated to art, another half to becoming a doctor.